From 2017 to 2019, the Mekong River Commission developed a joint environmental monitoring program to monitor the effects and impacts on the environment of large infrastructure projects like hydropower dams on the Mekong River. There is strong potential for large water infrastructure projects to boost economic growth and reduce poverty rates in the Lower Mekong Basin. However, without responsible management, irreplaceable biodiversity and livelihoods of communities which depend upon the river are also threatened. Joint monitoring was first proposed during the MRC prior consultation process for the Don Sahong hydropower project and further accepted as an MRC joint project between Cambodia and Lao PDR in the National Indicative Plans 2016 to 2020. JEM is a joint environment monitoring program for the Mekong uh, mainstream hydropower project with the focus, but also, also apply for other water infrastructure projects. Hydropower development can impact local economies and communities in different ways through changes in water flow, sediment transport, and migration of fish species. I'm uh, aiming for having uh, a standardized uh, data collection, systematic data collection uh, for basic Y in order to uh, assess the impact uh, not only for uh, basin Y but also for individual project, especially uh, with a clear assessment of the hydropower project impact. And also, alternately, uh, GEM also provides a good platform for a standardized data collection and sharing uh, platform. So among uh, di di different uh, hydropower develop developer and also among the MRC member country. This information can help developers and decision makers to adapt plans and adjust operation of hydropower projects. GEM will focus on how to collect, providing standard operating procedures for robust, standardized data collection. And what to collect, for example, the status and changes for different environmental factors around the development projects. These include hydrological and hydraulic changes, changes in sediment transport and river geomorphology, variations in the amount of water flowing in the river, the discharge, water quality, health of aquatic life, and the status of fish and fisheries. The GEM program will be tested on two existing hydropower projects, the Sayaburi Dam and the Don Zahong Dam, to test if the GEM program can be implemented in the long term. There will be trainings given to national monitoring teams and local fishermen, and new methodologies will be tested for their feasibility and usefulness. The GEM was first presented at the 44th MRC Joint Committee meeting in July 2016, which requested pilots to be carried out for GEM on mainstream dams. The MRC member countries then formally agreed to the preparation of the GEM in September 2017. In 2018, a coordination team was established and the draft GEM program developed and presented. The next step was to get vital input from representatives of the hydropower projects where the pilots were to be carried out, Sayaburi and Don Sahong. By late 2019, the draft program for GEM was approved and the first trainings carried out. In 2020, the GEM pilots project officially began. The full training program was delivered and environmental data collected. In 2021, the results of the pilot's project will be presented and the GEM guidelines finalised, ready to roll out across the Lower Mekong Basin. GEM 
is important and valuable to generate and share the reliable and scientific data information for us to uh, analyze and understand and reporting the status of the Mekong Basin and also to monitor regularly to see the change and impact of the, uh, from the development in the Mekong. It's really important for Lao PDR in terms of the capacity building of the local staff to carry out the monitoring as well as we will have the, the standard method for environmental monitoring in the lower Mekong Basin. CM is the right way of fact findings uh, done by scientific data collection approach, which we really need to create the balance of the future development uh, on the macro mainstream. CM is uh, opportunities for getting closer to home developer and the macro country. Yeah, and then we hope that uh, we have a chance to discuss with them, yeah? uh, as well as uh, joy uh, design implement. Uh, the GEM monitoring uh, uh, program. Uh, I think that yeah, if uh, the uh, expert and uh, the developer can work together, uh, we can have the brighter future for the Mekong River Basin.